morning, Erin and Beast. How are you today? Oh, just getting ready for work. Sorry, the overhead light's um, kind of bright. It's drizzly and gross out today. Oh, man. Um, what What is happening in the YouTube streets? Like, what is happening in the world? I'm... I'm, I'm shook. I'm absolutely shook. Um, as I'm sure the whole Yarny community is. <sighs> oh man. Did you guys, I'm sure you guys have already heard about what happened to Crystal at Bag of Day. Um, wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say is wow. I, I, so glad that they're all okay. Um, I'm, if you, I don't know how you couldn't possibly know if you're in this community, you gotta know what happened. Um, on Crystal's, um, one million live, yay, Crystal, cool. Uh, supposed to be one of the happiest days of her life, huge milestone, 10 years in the making. And, someone decides to swat her. Now, if you don't know what swatting is, it's a horrible thing that should be, oh man, the people that do this should be hung up by their balls. But anyway, um, it's when somebody calls the police and says horrific things about someone and gives an address and it has to be really bad for them to, to actually swat the house. Uh, from what I heard they said something to the effect of that there was shooting at the house and there were stabbings or something. I something to that effect. Um, and then SWAT came and oh my god, those those poor kids. I can't imagine how terrified everybody was. Um, and. <clears throat> <laughs> thank god crystal knows who it is um and they can throw the book at this person um because anything could have happened anything could have happened one wrong move and somebody could have gotten badly hurt or killed um i just don't understand what what is wrong with people Jesus, you know, like there's small children in that house, you know, but <sighs> um, I, I'm so flabbergasted over this. Like, what was the freaking purpose of this? Was it jealousy? Because this person, maybe this person was jealous that they didn't, you know, they don't have the fame that she does or whatever. Like, get the frick over it. Like, you're putting the lives of people in danger. Like, I know this is a huge thing in the gaming community, which is stupid enough. Um, I've never heard of this in the Yarny community. I've never heard of that. And, you know, it's bad enough to do it to somebody who doesn't have children. But when you've got children in the house, that's just plain stupid. Like, how stupid do you have to be to do that to someone? You got to be pretty freaking stupid. Like, you know, the whole world has gone to hell. And you know, it's like the world needs to be like a snow globe so that God can just shake the shit out of the world and knock all the stupid out. You know, like, I just, oh, I, oh, and then it doesn't stop there. Um. Did you hear about D in D's family? Oh, D for creative, creative hands. Um, she lost a family member due to somebody stupid. Um, I, it was on the news. It was, um, a lady drunk driver ran into the building that housed a children's birthday party. Like, we're talking little, little, little children. 
and killed some people, sent some other people to the hospital. So if I can say this without crying, <clears throat> two little kids got killed, brother and a sister. Um, and then, uh, Dee's, I think it's Dee's husband's sister-in-law, um, oh, or sister, his sister. It, I, mm. again, how stupid do you have to be? You know, she, there's, there's, um, video footage of the car going into the place. They don't actually show it hitting the building. I don't think from what I saw, they stopped it. Um, they showed the aftermath, like police and everything, but she was at the pub and they didn't stop her from driving. There needs to be somebody charged there as well. You know, like, Oh, those poor babies. Oh, God. You know, and then I, I mean, it's been a bad week on YouTube. It's been a bad week. There's other stuff going on as well. Um, Amanda from Tap Mama and the Beg Brigade. Uh, she had to put her pup down. Um, he had to go over the, the Rainbow Bridge. He was very ill. Uh, Heather from the Crochet Witch, her pup had surgery, luckily came back, it wasn't cancer. Um, oh, there's just so much going on and I'm just, ooh, I don't understand. I don't understand. So I'm sending my love. And best, best wishes out to all of them. Um, oh, sending them hugs, healing light. Uh, I, I, yeah. So apparently Crystal is going to be off until next month. But she does still have videos coming out that I guess were scheduled. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay onto lighter stuff. Um, I finished my poncho thingy. <laughs> Get this. I had, I played yarn chicken and lost. Um, as you saw in my last video. And then I realized after I went and bought the yarn and finished the square that I only needed Three squares, not four. <laughs> I'm telling you, my brain, my brain, my brain. So, yeah, I didn't need to play yarn chicken. I didn't need to finish that last one. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I just shaking my head. Maybe I need to shake my brain and get all the stupid out. I <laughs> just oh, um, I showed you the t-shirts that I made. I never did show you the tumblers that I made. So I'll put some pictures up. I'll move over. <laughs> I'll show you some pictures of the, some of the tumblers that I made. They were a lot of fun to make. I decided that I was going to start doing some Marvel comic type things, DC comic stuff. Um, cause the guy where I'm moving my shop into, he's a comic car, comic book connoisseur. That was a hard one to say. Uh, and so it gave me the idea to make some of these, um, mugs. And then I made some wolves and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I think they turned out pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can't find some more characters. I guess I can move over now. And, uh, and then make some more at a later date. 
I don't want to make any more stuff. I, I got to take my t-shirts in today into the shop. Um, I don't have any room right now. Right? Like I, and I, I don't, I, I got to move all this stuff in a few days. So yeah. But anyway, yeah, about that. Oh, I had, today is Wednesday. I'm going to be starting to move stuff, I think, on the weekend. And I'm having to start packing because I don't want to have that much downtime in the shop. Um, but I'm kind of stressed out. Just a little bit. Today, I'm going to go to the new shop and see what kind of damage is going on over there that I may or may not have to fix. And so hopefully it all will work out. Hopefully. Anyway. Um, what else do I have to talk about? My gray is starting to come in. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, not really. Yeah. I'm having having a little anxiety about it <laughs> you know because it's not even pretty gray you know it's i don't know i think i might get my dad's gray i don't know i'm just i can't even think about it i can't think about it right now <laughs> just uh, but um yeah uh I don't know what else I got to talk about. I just, I'm just so upset about what's going on, you know. Oh, I know what I could tell you. <laughs> Angela from My Precious Serenary, I think I talked about this before. I asked her to make me up some yarn for the shop. She finished it and she mailed it. She mailed it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get it. Um... It's going to be awesome. And I, the colorway that she did for the, like, there's going to be a signature shop, like my spirit raven um, yarn. And it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I sent her my sign and she nailed it. The colors that are in my sign are in that yarn and it's freaking gorgeous. Um, she did a fantastic job on that. Uh, so she's going to be making more as we go along, but yeah, she did some really nice yarn. I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to go over really well at the shop. Uh, I'm going to find a designated spot for her yarn, um, and have a, a get, uh, Jeff, my wood, wood making, woodworking guy whatever uh get him to make up a special sign that says my precious ornery on it and yeah it's going to be a staple in my shop so i'm really pumped can't get here fast enough <laughs> so anyway all right i think i'm gonna go i gotta go finish getting ready for work and i have my third uh appointment with the chiropractor the cranial thing oh you guys i don't know if she's doing helping me or if she's doing more harm than good uh the next day <clears throat> on sunday after my appointment i was so dizzy i had to take two days off work i was so dizzy um it wasn't good i'm still not 100 percent. i'm still dizzy i can't like i, I looking down course we're crocheting we have to look down right um I have to put my head up really slow uh and even at that I'm still feeling like Whoa. um moving my eyes around <clears throat> if I'm standing it's different like if I'm sitting it's different driving is interesting um like I'm, I'm safe I'm okay it's just I can feel there I can feel it's you know when you got head cold and you kind of just feel like uh like I don't feel quite right yeah so I'm gonna talk to her about that today and hopefully she can fix what's going on 
because this ain't gonna fly. I feel worse than I did when I before I went. Um, I'm not liking that at all. Still, it hurts back here still. So, yeah. But anyway, all right. So I will let you know how that goes, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Hey, yarn of bees. Guess what I finished. <laughs> nice it's got the arms see so it's like a jacket <laughs> I'll tell you these tassels damn near killed me oh hang on oh. let's bring it up here oh I never want to have to do all these tassels ever again <laughs> So, yeah, it uh, finally finished it. It took me way too long. Like, way too long. Nope. Not doing it again, I don't think. So, but yeah, what do you think? Okay. Now that I'm finished that, I, it's time to go home. I uh, had a bit of a day today. Had a bit of a day. I um, found out that all the stuff in the new shop has been taken out. Uh, now they got to patch up the walls. Why oh, my hair? I tried to do a flip thing today. Um, yeah, they they have everything out of the shop, and so now they just have to patch the walls and then go in there and paint. And then, then it's go time. I haven't even begun to pack up this shop yet because I'm trying to leave it to the very last moment uh, just so that it doesn't upset the apple cart, like customer-wise. So everybody knows that I'm moving, or at least the people that come in here know. Um, yeah, so. Okay, I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi, yarn bees. Okay, so I'm at home. I look like hell. It's 9.30 at night. I purchased a pattern that I've been looking at for a little while. Um, well, since it, it came out, which has been a week or two. Um, it's from Star Lily Creations on Instagram. I've been looking at this and looking at this. And thinking to myself, I really want to do this pattern. But the pattern was a fortune. Um, it was $12 US, which is like $16 Canadian. I have never paid that much money for a pattern in my life. Um, even $12 US is huge. So <clears throat> I hummed and hawed and hummed and hawed. And then I kept seeing pictures of other people making these, this, this, um, cardigan or cardigan. Yeah, I guess it's a cardigan. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so I started reading over this pattern going, um, <laughs> I hope I can figure this out. So far, I've been doing pretty good. <laughs> so I'm on round seven. And the cardigan is called Flower of Life Chunky Cardigan. Here, I'll show it to you. Right there. Okay. Now, let's see if I can find another picture it on here there's two versions of this this sweater one has the granny squares and the other one doesn't I think I'm doing this one but yeah it's so pretty and I'm 
I was just like, I got to try this because it's so cool. Um, so I am using, I went, oh, I went to Walmart. I wanted to see everybody at my store that comes into my store has said they don't want to go to Duncan. They don't want to go to Nanaimo. My shop is right in the middle. They don't want to travel that far to go get yarn. And the, the Duncan Walmart doesn't really have any yarn. So I wanted to go check this out for myself. And they were right. The, the shelf is like a half shelf. It's maybe 15 feet worth of yarn. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, wow. Okay. I went in there specifically looking for the Red Heart Granny, the new Red Heart Granny yarn. Nothing. They barely even had any Red Heart. So I thought, okay, fine. So I was, as I was walking away, I saw the Colorama Halo, right? That and the Latte, some of my favorite yarns. This Colorama Halo, I haven't seen this color. So I grabbed two at $14.99. I can get this stuff wholesale. I just haven't done it yet. But this, that actually shows up pretty good. And that's just from the light of my computer. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. So I got sneaky. And I mixed it with my latte cake. Did I cheat a little? Yeah. <laughs> I'm making it extra fluffy. <laughs> so this is what I've got so far. Kind of looks like a snowflake. <laughs> but I'm actually figuring it out. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, holy cow. It's 9.30 at night. I'm tired. Well, it's almost 10 now, I guess. I'm tired. You know, I'm um, not feeling wonderful. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> so I think the colors are looking great together. Um, it's going to look different when towards the end, if I get that far, when the two colors start to kind of almost be the same. Well, it's a light, light, light blue and then the white. So it's going to look kind of cool. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah. So I think this is going to be really neat. This part is the under the arm part. So think it's kind of constructed similar to the hexagon cardi I think because it starts off with six like a six star right so I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of like a hexicardi when I get to that point um, at some point it's got to square it's square off so that's gonna be different so what oh, oh, excuse me sorry guys I'm tired um yeah so that's what I'm doing um, my appointment went okay um, she's sending me to a specialist in Victoria uh, that's apparently the guru of ear issues and uh, she actually, weirdly enough, she wants to go to the appointment with me. Which is kind of bizarre. I'm hoping she's just going to meet me down there. Because, <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, so we're going to see what happens. But, a little bit of good news. And I don't want to jinx myself. As I was driving home, the headache started coming. The You know, like it happened last time. And then I 
started um, getting a little itch in my throat, which was weird. And I start coughing. <clears throat> and I don't know what happened, but it was like all of a sudden my sinuses, something started to drain. And I'm swallowing and swallowing. I'm like, what is going on? And I could hear the both ears. And so far, it's a little bit foggy. <sighs> mm, a little bit foggy in this ear. But it's a lot better than it was. So maybe she did something to kind of fix things a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe it's wishful thinking. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah. Anyway, I think that's everything for now. Uh, so thanks for joining me. I don't usually do this, but don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the things. And don't forget, I have a membership now if you are interested. Uh, I'm hoping, oh, did I tell you guys? I don't even know if I told you guys. The date for moving the shop has been pushed a little bit. We thought we were going to be um, moving the shop this weekend. It's now going to be next week because the, the guy that's in the shop needs time between building his shop in the, in the market and then trying to get this shop um, dealt with. He's only one guy. So he needs a little time to get all the holes in the walls fixed, get it painted, uh, and all that. So um, I don't have to worry about moving out because nobody's moving into my shop, apparently. Not right now, anyway. So, yeah. So the owner's being really laxed about that, which is great. Because <laughs> that'll take the pressure off of me. So now I can relax a little bit. And, um, yeah. So... It'll give me more time to actually pack up and not just be throwing stuff in boxes and, um, and uh, y you know, just having stuff all over the place. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go. So I will talk to you guys later and I will keep you posted as to what's going on. Okay. And, oh, my friend Chris... Chris Daniels, she, you see her, must see her comments um, in the comments below. She, she kind of gave me what for today. <laughs> She's going in for surgery. So um, I would love it if you guys could put in the comments below. Just wish her well for her surgery. It's a pretty big surgery. She's pretty scared. So if you can do that for me, that would be wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. I love you all. And I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.